Hi everyone, my name is Jessica, a fourth year medical student at University of Michigan, and I'm really excited to be sharing with you about our LEAGUES program, Building an Equitable Surgical Training Pipeline, Leadership Exposure for the Advancement of Gender and Underrepresented Minority Equity in Surgery. Women and underrepresented minorities are poorly represented in surgical specialties, with disparities increased at each stage. Contributing factors include systemic racism, lack of mentorship, and bias metrics of evaluation. Proper diversity is critical for patient care, surgical access, and surgical education. We developed the Leagues Fellowship, a surgical pipeline program that aims to develop future surgeon leaders invested in diversity, equity, and inclusion. We aim to do this through mentorship, academic and research opportunities, and clinical experience. We created a four-week fellowship program that included these six core components. And we advertise for rising M2 applicants online and through national underrepresented in medicine student groups. We received 17 applications reviewed by the league's leadership team using a standardized rubric and three incredible applicants here were selected. We had originally intended this to be an in-person fellowship, I think like many things, but adapted and converted to virtual. And here's just a snapshot of our fellow schedule. We also found, a, found it extremely important to provide a stipend for our fellows to provide financial support and offset opportunity costs. We also performed incoming fellow semi-structured interviews and identified all fellows had a strong interest in working with minority patients and improving representation in medicine. And they had little to no research experience or surgical mentorship and were apprehensive about surgical culture and burnout. So leagues ran this past July with the support of over 30 Michigan faculty and residents. Fellows attended weekly lectures and workshops conducted by UMich faculty, residents, and senior medical students, covering content from how to conduct research, be academically productive, peer mentorship, getting involved in advocacy as a trainee, and learning about subspecialties. We recorded our lectures and posted these on the University of Michigan Department um, YouTube to make them available for anyone interested. And so for research, fellows were paired with faculty mentors performing specialties of the mentee's interest, and they met with their mentors weekly while getting support from the league's leadership team. We also taught technical skills virtually, and so we mailed surgical kits to fellows and held suturing and knot tying workshops. And a critical part that we didn't want to lose um, being virtual was building a sense of community. So the leadership team were at a majority of the seminars, touched base after each session with the mentees and had multiple virtual happy hours with the league's teams, residents and other medical students. We also made sure to set concrete research goals. We had the fellows present at the end of leagues at our Center for Health Outcomes and Policy seminar and submitted abstracts to national conferences with the goal of publishing their research. We aim to capture the impact of the league's program um, on the fellows. So we conducted also post-program semi-structured interviews and all fellows felt like they gained invaluable research experience where before they didn't know where to start but now they have the confidence to pursue research. They also gained a new perspective on the type of research being performed in surgery and that health services and disparities research is being done and they could pursue their passions in the future. Um, two of our fellows actually didn't have a home surgical department and many had apprehension about surgical culture, but after participating in the league's program, they identified wanting a collaborative and caring surgery program. And lastly, um, one goal we really had was with leagues is to create a lineage of mentors with seminars on how to be a mentor now as a trainee and how impactful that really can be at every stage. So fellows shared how they already were starting this. They were sharing leagues resources with their peers and they expressed they wanted to come back to be a leagues alumni and mentor future leagues fellows. So overall, the League's Fellowship provided access to mentorship, research, and community, and really empowered underrepresented students to become leaders in academic surgery. Thank you all so much for your time, and we're currently excited because we're gearing up for our second year of Leagues.